I was just going to say, yes, please save us. And if you, <laughs> if you in the interim, if you cannot recall oh. your story, oh, you got it? Okay. I've got it now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Hey, listen, I'm a 50 year old and I, oh, I'm. Yeah. I'm going through male menopause. Uh, so, <laughs> right now, I've forgotten it again. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, a great connection, actually. She was on the foot. So, this evolved from abusive connections, a male problem, to LinkedIn Me Too, to social Me Too. And on the first recording, there's a lady called Rachel Beck who only yeah. uses you. Right. 350,000 followers and she does routinely exactly what you're saying yet she still is having to block and delete accounts it is so what what else can we do Inga um I think we should just continue doing what we're doing. Um, at the end of the day, we cannot change somebody else's behavior. No. What we can do is change our own. Um, and that's what we need to do. So keep, you know, if you want to keep posting about that periodically um, and don't tolerate no. terrible behavior. Um, and, you know, Yes, I understand that it's um, social media too is about sexual advances on uh, social platforms, but they, there are some other weird behaviors that we come across on on LinkedIn, on other social platforms. Um, what, you know, sort of, what sort of thing? Um, the, quite a few people that I know have been just bombarded with uh, messages about Bitcoin, about you know yes. um, things like yeah. that, right? Yeah. Um, including my husband uh, on Instagram, um, I get I get that all the time, and and then there's something that I uh, I love to refer to because you know I speak about LinkedIn a lot and networking in uh, specifically, and that is the pitch slap. <laughs> Um, so for those that don't know what a pitch slap is, it's when you connect with someone and they don't necessarily start the conversation with, hello, how are you? You know, I'm so-and-so and leave it at that. They give, they go into this whole spiel of who they are, what they do and how they can help your business or how they can serve you and what you should buy from them. That is a pitch slap. And I will tell you, I get them so often. There's one lady, actually, that I get pitch slapped by many times. Um, I've actually, I accepted a connection request. We've connected and she sent me, she sent me about five pitch slaps without me responding to her. And uh, I got annoyed. And so I blocked, I, not, I didn't block her, I just disconnected from her. Would you believe that she continues to send me messages periodically? Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, yes. And I've counted the messages from her. The last count that I had was about 20. Oh, my. That she's been messaging me and, and just basically telling me about the program. And I thought, how is this working for you, really? It's not, actually. Now, this is not necessarily, oh, well, actually, a couple of things. Yes, sexual advances, uh, social me too, but um, death and threats of rape, threats of location revealing, uh, political abuse, racial abuse, um, LGBTQIA abuse, um, and also we've added the funny, the funny and ridiculous and hard selling so exactly what you're talking about if after this recording over the next couple of days you give just because you can copy paste to their pitch lap no point writing it out just bang bang this was their first message and then just post it and go because it is happening all the time so let me pose a question to the room it seems as if we're engaged in a giant Ponzi scheme. 
where everybody is claiming they can create this amazing thing of everybody else, which if it were true, they wouldn't need to be advertising. 